Welcome to the global defense battle. The Patriot missile system, officially known as the MIM-104 Patriot, is a long-range, surface-to-air missile system developed by the United States. Created by Raytheon, it was designed to replace older systems like the Nike Hercules and MIM-23 Hawk. The Patriot's primary role is to detect, target, and eliminate incoming threats such as aircraft and tactical ballistic missiles. Development began in the 1960s, with the system entering service in 1984. Its deployment was driven by the need for a more advanced air defense system capable of countering evolving aerial threats. On the other hand, the S-400 Triumph, known by NATO as the SA-21 Growler, is Russia's advanced long-range SAM system. Developed by Almazanti, it serves as an upgrade to the earlier S-300 series. The S-400 is designed to engage a variety of targets, including aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. Development commenced in the 1990s, and the system was officially approved for service on April 28, 2007, with the 1st Battalion becoming operational on August 6, 2007. The impetus for its development was to enhance Russia's air defense capabilities against modern threats. And today, we will compare both of these systems, United States Patriot versus Russia's S-400 long-range surface-to-air missile systems. Talking about the design and dimensions first, the Patriot missile system's design includes several key components. The missile itself, a launcher, a radar set, an engagement control station, a power generator, and a high-frequency antenna mast. Each launcher can carry up to 4 PAC-2 missiles, or up to 16 PAC-3 missiles. The PAC-2 missile measures approximately 5.31 meters in length and weighs about 900 kilograms. In contrast, the more advanced PAC-3 missile is shorter, measuring around 5.2 meters and weighing approximately 700 kilograms. On the other hand, the S-400 Triumph is Russia's advanced long-range surface-to-air missile system. Its design comprises multiple components, the missiles, a transporter erector launcher, a command and control center, and various radar systems. Each launcher can carry up to four missile containers, with the system supporting different missile types, including the 40N6E, 48N6, and 9M96 series. The 48N6 missile, for instance, measures approximately 7.5 meters in length, has a diameter of 0.5 meters, and weighs around 1,800 kilograms. Talking about the range and altitude, the S-400 Triumph boasts a maximum range of 400 kilometers against aerodynamic targets like aircraft. It can intercept targets at altitudes up to 30 kilometers. The system can detect targets up to 600 kilometers away and has a response time of 9 to 10 seconds. A full S-400 system can engage up to 36 targets simultaneously, guiding a total of 72 missiles, with the capability to assign two missiles per target for increased interception probability. On the other hand, the U.S. developed Patriot system, specifically the PAC-3M SE variant, has a maximum range of approximately 160 kilometers and can engage targets at altitudes up to 24 kilometers. The system's radar can detect threats at varying distances depending on the target size and speed, with detection ranges typically up to 150 kilometers. The Patriot system's response time is rapid, though exact figures are not publicly disclosed. Each Patriot battery can simultaneously engage multiple targets, with the exact number depending on the configuration and the specific threats encountered. Cytern Zero Search 6 overall, the S-400 offers a longer maximum range and higher altitude interception capabilities compared to the Patriot PAC-3M SE. The S-400 can detect targets at greater distances and engage more targets simultaneously. Talking specifically about launcher and missiles, the Patriot missile system employs the M901 launching station, a mobile unit mounted on a trailer, typically towed by an M983 heavy expanded mobility tactical truck. Each launcher is equipped with four canisters, each housing a single missile. The system utilizes different missile variants, including the PAC-2 and PAC-3. The PAC-3 missile is more compact, allowing up to 16 missiles per launcher. It employs a hit-to-kill approach, directly colliding with incoming threats to neutralize them. This method enhances effectiveness against ballistic missiles. On the other hand, the S-400 Triumph system utilizes the 5P-85TE-2 and 5P-85SE-2 transporter erector launchers, which are vehicle-mounted units providing high mobility. Each TEL can carry up to four missile containers. 
The S-400 system is compatible with multiple missile types, including the 9M-96E, 9M-96E2, 48N6, and 40N6E. These missiles are designed to engage various targets, from aircraft to ballistic and cruise missiles, at different ranges and altitudes. Overall, both the Patriot and S-400 systems feature mobile launcher configurations designed for rapid deployment. Regarding guidance and accuracy, the Patriot missile system employs a guidance method known as TrackVi missile. In this approach, the missile receives radar signals reflected from the target and transmits this data back to the ground control station. The control station then calculates the optimal flight path and sends corrective commands to the missile during its flight. This combination of semi-active radar homing and command guidance enhances the system's accuracy. The Patriot's PAC-3 missiles utilize a hit-to-kill strategy, directly colliding with incoming threats to neutralize them. While specific figures for circular error probable are not publicly disclosed, the system is designed to achieve high precision against various aerial threats. On the other hand, the S-400 Triumph system utilizes multiple guidance methods depending on the missile type. For instance, the 48N6 series missiles employ semi-active radar homing, where the missile homes in on radar signals reflected off the target. In contrast, the 9M96 missiles use active radar homing, allowing the missile to autonomously track the target using its onboard radar. This active guidance method enables the missile to adjust its flight path during engagement, increasing its effectiveness against maneuvering targets. The S-400's design allows for in-flight maneuverability, with some missiles capable of withstanding high gravitational forces to intercept agile threats. Specific CEP values for the S-400 are not publicly available, but the system is reputed for its high accuracy and effectiveness against a broad spectrum of aerial targets. Overall, both the Patriot and S-400 missile systems are engineered for high accuracy in intercepting aerial threats. Regarding radar and communications, the Patriot missile system employs the ANMPQ-53 or ANMPQ-65 phased array radar, which integrates surveillance, tracking, and engagement functions into a single unit. This design allows the system to detect and track multiple targets simultaneously, enhancing its responsiveness to various aerial threats. The phased array technology enables rapid beam steering without moving parts, providing quick target acquisition and improved accuracy. On the other hand, the S-400 Triumph utilizes the 91N6E Big Bird Acquisition and Battle Management Radar, mounted on an 8 into 8 trailer. This radar can detect and track aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, guided missiles, drones, and ballistic rockets within a range of 600 kilometers, simultaneously tracking up to 300 targets. The system also includes the 92N6E Gravestone Multifunctional Radar for engagement and fire control which provides precise tracking and guidance for missile intercepts. Both systems are controlled and coordinated through advanced command and control centers. The Patriot's engagement control station calculates trajectories for interceptors and manages the launching sequence, communicating with launcher stations and other Patriot batteries. It is the only man station in a Patriot fire unit, with other operations being highly automated to facilitate rapid response. The S-400's command and control are managed through its central command post, which integrates data from various radars and sensors to provide a comprehensive air defense picture. The system is designed for a high level of automation, allowing for quick decision-making and response to multiple threats simultaneously. Regarding countering enemy artillery fire, neither the Patriot nor the S-400 is specifically designed for this purpose. Their primary function is to intercept and destroy aerial threats such as aircraft and missiles. However, their advanced radar systems can detect incoming projectiles, but engaging them would be beyond their intended operational scope. In terms of disrupting enemy radar and communication systems, the S-400 is equipped with the 91B-6 East Automated Jamming Station, which transmits high-powered radio signals to interfere with enemy radar operations, making it more difficult for adversaries to detect and track the S-400 system. Additionally, the 96L6TS P-Jamming Station is used to disrupt enemy communication systems by transmitting signals that interfere with their coordination efforts. The Patriot system does not have a dedicated capability to disrupt enemy radar and communication systems. Its focus remains on air and missile defense through detection, tracking, and interception of threats. Regarding mobility and crew protections, the Patriot missile system is designed for mobility, with its components mounted on trailers towed by vehicles like the M983 Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck. 
This configuration allows for relatively quick relocation and setup, enabling the system to be repositioned as needed. However, the need to tow multiple components can limit its speed and maneuverability compared to fully self-propelled systems. Regarding crew protection, the standard Patriot system does not include armored cabins. In response to threats such as shrapnel from missile attacks, Ukrainian engineers have developed and installed custom armored shields for the Patriot's command and control units. These shields consist of approximately 200 steel plates, each about 8 mm thick, providing enhanced protection for the crew without significantly affecting the system's mobility or functionality. On the other hand, the S-400 Triumph system is also designed with mobility in mind. Its components, including the radar units and missile launchers, are mounted on high-mobility 8 into 8-wheeled vehicles, such as the BAZ-640215 truck. This self-propelled design allows the S-400 to relocate rapidly and deploy quickly, typically within 5 to 10 minutes. The use of integrated, vehicle-mounted systems enhances its maneuverability and reduces the time required to achieve operational readiness. Information regarding the level of armor protection for the S-400's crew cabins is not publicly available, suggesting that standard configurations may not include significant armor plating. Overall, the S-400 system holds an advantage due to its fully self-propelled design, which allows for faster relocation and deployment compared to the towed components of the Patriot system. Regarding cost, the Patriot missile system has undergone extensive investment and upgrades since its development began in the 1960s. Although exact development costs are not fully available, a single Patriot battery for domestic use costs approximately $1.09 billion, while export versions range between $2.37 and $2.5 billion per unit. The cost of each PAC-3M SE missile is around $4 million. On the other hand, the S-400 Triumph system's development costs are undisclosed. The system's design includes cost-effective manufacturing due to local resources and simplified production lines. Domestically, an S-400 battery costs around $500 million, while export versions range between $1 billion and $1.25 billion, depending on configurations and additional support packages. Missiles like the 48N6 and 40N6E are included in these packages, but individual missile costs vary with estimates of several million dollars per unit. The Patriot missile system has seen extensive production and deployment since its introduction. As of 2010, the U.S. had 1,106 Patriot launchers, with 483 actively in service. Over 250 launchers have been exported to 18 countries. In response to evolving global threats, the U.S. has been transferring Patriot missile interceptors to Ukraine to bolster its defense against Russian strikes. On the other hand, the S-400 Triumph, Russia's advanced air defense system, has been produced and deployed both domestically and internationally. Within Russia, the S-400 is stationed in strategic locations, including Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kaliningrad, Krasnodar, Severomorsk, and Crimea, providing a robust shield against potential aerial attacks. Internationally, the S-400 has been exported to several countries. China secured a contract in 2015, with deliveries beginning in 2018. Turkey received its S-400 units starting in July 2019. India signed a deal in October 2018, with the 1st Regiment deployed in April 2022, and additional units expected by August 2026. Belarus also acquired the system, with deliveries executed by December 2022. These deployments enhanced the air defense capabilities of the respective nations, allowing them to monitor and neutralize a wide range of aerial threats. In summary, the Patriot and S-400 systems represent the pinnacle of long-range air defense, each tailored to meet different strategic needs. The choice between them ultimately depends on a nation's defense requirements and budget considerations. Which system do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.